stand outside this really cracking property today. It's called Travor House. It's located along the St. Ives Road. Um, easy access into town from here. If you go down that way, you've got the Tesco roundabouts and then straight on to St. Ives. You've got access down to Carbis Bay Beach from that road across there. And you've got the two bus stops opposite each other, which again, take you into St. Ives, Penzance and Hale the other way. So really good location, really easy access into the towns of St. Ives and into Clubs Bay and into the land. Right, so let's walk into the property. This is extremely spacious, very deceptive from the front. It's three double bedrooms, big nice lounge diner, big kitchen diner, two bathrooms. It's um, yeah, really good little place. So we walk into this lovely little entrance vestibule, We've got this oak flooring, a nice uh, dipped wood door with the stained glass into the entrance hall with stairs rising to the first floor. To our left then is a, another part glazed wood door into the living space. So it's a nice open through, we say lounge diner, but a big lounge, because there's plenty of room in the kitchen, which we'll see in a minute for the dining room, so, or dining table. But it's a fantastic size room, this. We've got the continuation of that nice wood floor. It's nice and bright and light. We've got that lovely square, double glazed window or square bay window to the front and another window to the side there's two radiators in here gas and treating throughout there's a good sized living space really well presented as well it's been really well looked after There's a little cupboard under the stairs here for storage, for vacuum and bits and pieces. And the through door into the kitchen diner, as you can see. Great sized room, big enough for this large dining table. Um, easily seat six people around. Little recess there with a bit of shelving. That's got the microwave on at the moment with the radiator under. There's a window into the conservatory and another door into conservatory and another window to the rear but here we have the four ring gas hob electric oven extractor fan we have the nice big butler sink unit and that's the dishwasher there to our left and a good range of cupboard space there's the freezer and the fridge And again, just further covered space below. Oak worktop surfaces all over. LED lights in the ceiling. Really good space. Very usable, nice to cook in. In here we have the Worcester boiler, which services the gas central heating and the hot water. So we go into this little conservatory room. Um, it's just a little side on room, nice and warm, polycarb roof. Again, little table and chairs out here so you can eat out here. There's access there to the side of the property and that's the front through that door. And then to the back here we have another door with access to a little rear courtyard. There's just a bit of storage on the left-hand side. And then into a downstairs bathroom. So we've got the large bath with a electric shower over, wash hand basin, and a WC. The bathroom is all tiled. It's a nice size. While I'm down here, I'll just take you outside and just show you the rear. So there's a double glazed door out to this little side yard, then steps up to very sunny rear courtyard. So that way we're facing is approximately south. So you'll get the sun actually most of the day here. So rises up over there, comes right the way around. It's now quarter past two in the afternoon 
and the sun is streaming in and you'll get this most of the afternoon and a little raised decked area. But it's a really decent little sun trap. And a good little size as well. So you put some nice pots and plants out here, grow some veggies. Again. Through the kitchen. Into the living room. And upstairs to the first floor. So as I said, outside three good double bedrooms with this and a shower room upstairs. Let's walk to the back of the property into bedroom three, I'd say. But yeah, good size double. There's a big double in here. Um, we've got the laminate wood flooring. Double goes into the side of the radiator. Again, all very nice and tidy. And a very decent size. We go now into the shower room. So big corner shower unit, electric shower over, all fully tiled. We've got a wash hand basin behind me, a WC and a heated towel rail. And into bedroom two. And a window to the side here, radiator. Plenty big enough for a small set of wardrobes and with some drawers. Plenty of power points. But again, good size double. And finally on to bedroom one. Great size room. We have a radiator in here, plenty of power points. It's a TV point in the corner. That's the nice window to the front. Space for wardrobes. I believe they are fitted. And out the front here, actually we've got some very nice, if I just scroll in, some very nice views over towards Gadrivi and Hale. And equally down through the gap there. Brilliant property. I think very competitive price when you see it. It's three double bedrooms. We've got really nice size living accommodation downstairs. Really well looked after. Easy location for access into St. Ives and you're on the fringe of Cubs Bay. You've got the Tesco's literally just down the road. Bus stops just outside effectively. Nice walk down to Carbs Bay Beach from here. That'll take you on the coastal footpath, which takes you on to Portminster, which is about a 10, 15 minute walk. Nice property. Yeah, you could uh, do a lot worse than this. I think it's very, very nice. For more information, please give us a call. Look out for any open days that we may be doing or give us an email and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have or arrange any appointments. Thanks.